Sean Cummings says he is an education advocate and he's proving that by donating to schools for students who owe lunch money. Cummings says he and his late wife wanted to make an immediate difference without bureaucratic red tape and donating to help relieve students of their lunch debt does just that. He says he got the idea from a friend. We had a friend of ours whose kid owned owed $2.50 and they wouldn't send his transcripts over two fifty, dollars and, uh, and we're like, well, I'll have to start looking at that and see if that's something because it'd be easy to do a GoFundMe, get the money in, and then, and then literally take care of the problem right then. No idea it was this big. By providing this relief for the students, he says it allows them to do other things they otherwise might not be able to do. Not only can they graduate, they might be able to do a party with their family or something else instead, but it also takes the pressure off, especially for families that don't, don't even know that this is the way it works. He says he has a list of schools that he contacts, and then he waits for them to respond if they want his help. I had a, a message that said that there was somebody interesting in, interested in donating money to our on seniors' meals, and that caught my attention. I mean, yeah, everybody can use some help. So, so I called him back, and he, he just explained how it would work and that he would bring a check down. Cummings says depending on how big the school or school district is and how much money he's raised will depend on what he's able to donate to how many students. He says he was able to pay off about half of what the Elgin High School seniors owe, and it's the 42nd school across Oklahoma he has been able to provide lunch debt relief to after raising over $80,000. He says it's a great thing being able to relieve the kids of their stress of having to pay, but having that debt can cause issues for them. It's very difficult to focus, very difficult to take tests, anything else if you're hungry. And usually it's not really on the kid, it's the parent's bill. Um, but they're the only ones anybody sees. And the second problem is, is it keeps the parents from showing up to anything because they feel like they'll be called out for owing money. Cummings says he doesn't plan on stopping as long as the money is flowing. But as of right now, he doesn't have any schools lined up that he can donate to. Reporting in the Elgin for 7 News, I'm Phoebe Florian.